In my work with founders, I am continually reminded of the incredible power of passion when leading a business. Passion is the primary source of fuel for founders. It's what gets us through the setback after setback in those early days. It's what keeps our unwarranted optimism afloat long enough for it to become warranted. But what happens when you, as the founder or even CEO, lose your passion for your business? Should you exit? If you do, what will happen to this amazing company that you've built? Should you step back and let someone else take the reins? If so, are you really ready or even able to put that much control in someone else's hands? Should you stick with it? You know, many founders do, but they find themselves trapped and lifeless. They feel like a sailboat with no wind. This is one of those scenarios that can feel like there are no good options. And in a scenario where you're forced to pick between the least of the worst options, we are all but guaranteed to choose the worst option, which is to give up the power to decide. We end up feeling forced into something of someone else's choosing. No one likes this, but it's especially challenging for business owners. You chose to start the business in part because of the freedom and the autonomy that it would provide. Now, all these years later, you find yourself in a trap of your own making. Fortunately, there is a way out. In fact, there are multiple ways out. And I'm going to share with you the three primary ways first that founders lose their passion. The first one is you've been at it for a long time. The second is, you know, the business just isn't like it was before. And third, you may feel like you've hit a lid and you're holding back your business. In this video series, we're going to take a look at all three of these reasons. And for each one, I'm going to share with you how to know whether you should sell, step back, or stay because there's a time for each and determining which one actually comes down to two things. First, you need to peel away all of the daily stress of whatever's going on right now and ask yourself, do you still have a passion and vision for a greater future for your business? If you do, chances are your best bet is to stay and just work the problem. If you don't, you may want to sell or step back but you need to make sure you get the timing right. And what matters here is the stage that your business is in, and you can find it out using the free life cycle assessment in the description below. If your business is in predictable success and your passion is waning, then now is actually the perfect time to exit. You can sell or step back and both will have their best chances of working out well. If your business, however, is in whitewater or it's in treadmill, then you should get it out of that stage and into predictable success before you sell. Now, you may find that understanding these stages and how to overcome them may be all you need to fire up that passion again. With all of this, if you need any help navigating all the concerns, all the realities, then I'd encourage you to give me a call for a free 30-minute consultation. I would be happy to help point you and your company in the right direction. This time of year, many of us look back on the previous year and we look ahead to the next year. And when you do, I think the following points in this series will prove to be incredibly helpful for you.